Hello Chloe, I'm having a really bad day. What advice do you have to make me get over my problems? I'm so so sorry number one. I love you. I would have to say what helps me is prayer and just like hanging out with my little brother and my god mom. That's what like helps me feel better. And, you know, I feel like since we're like on the topic here, so I mean, we're all here, I guess, you know. So first, I just want to like thank all of you guys for all of your love and support. And I see what everybody is saying and I appreciate everyone who is sending me love and supporting me and loving me. And I just want to thank you all because it really means a lot to me. And I know like when we started our Instagrams, Marseille, hey girl, when we started our Instagrams, it was like something new and different for you guys. And you kind of get to see like the different sides of sister and I, you see how we're the same and you see how we're different. And I think that's the beautiful thing about it because our synergy is really out of this world because you have two completely different individuals and you come together and you're like this so a lot of times you see what Hallie and I are together so now you kind of get like a bit of insight on who I am as a person and there's been like a lot of talk and stuff about my Instagram and like my dance videos and stuff and the funny thing is the dancing one I did like with the blue light and everything I did that like six months ago I just shot it in my room because I really, really love to dance. And I feel like it's just, I feel so confident when I get to tap into the sexier side of me because all the people who know me personally, I'm really like such a nerd and I'm really to myself and I'm really, really shy. So it is like, it's honestly, it's taken a lot for me to show the world who I kind of like really am inside. So that was like, that was taken like six months ago. And then the one that was posted yesterday, I shot that almost a year and seven months ago when I was like in North Carolina for a movie. So the thing is, you guys just get to kind of see who I really am as a person. And I'm, I, I'm really grateful for you all's support and love because it just wouldn't be right of me to show an image of me that I'm not like a made up clean cut image of me that I'm just not I'm just inside I'm such a nerd and I like I'm not worldly at all like ask anyone who knows me they think I'm like 50 years old in the head but when I perform and when I make music and when I dance, that's when I get to tap into the sexier side of myself. And that's where I find my confidence. I'm not going to cry this time because y'all know I'd be crying. So it really means a lot to me when I can finally get to a place where I share who I really am. And I've been like really insecure for a long time. And I'm finally like at that place where... I have self-confidence. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I get to share that with you all. And I think it's so important and so special when a black woman can be strong and stand in her power in every single way. You know, I do it musically with my songwriting, with my producing, I feel so badass. And I get the same feeling when I dance in my room, when I just own who I am and my body. And for so long, I used to think I was like fat and like I used to hate my stretch marks and my cellulite. I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> but it's like now I really love who I am. And I don't post what I post for validation from anybody or even male attention. It's just me. 
and a lot of people who know like who's on my like private instagram they see like i'm just that's how i find my confidence because it has taken me a lot to appreciate myself and my body there's been so many times where i felt i wasn't pretty enough where i just i have a lot of issues with my weight so it's really it's a pivotal time for me i'm just now learning at like 22 almost 23 that it's okay to be all that you are and to stand in that power and i i, I think that's why i'm so appreciative of all of you who've been supporting me and i'm not going to change who i am if i did i would be a catfish and you all wouldn't see the real me that my family sees that hallie knows it's not a shock to her because she know like i'm like this all the time and most of the stuff on my page anyways are like months and months old but i love you all so much that i want to invite you in and bring you all in and show you who i really really truly am i'm like i'm such a nerd inside but on the outside i love to like just even when i dance i just feel really sexy and confident that's where i get my confidence from ever since i was like a little girl since i was four i'd be shaking my butt in front of the tv watching my idol beyonce so it's just always been in like it's just always been a part of me and i think you all are just now seeing it and a lot of you all who have been showing support it means so 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 much and i think for every woman out there, don't change who you are to make society feel comfortable. And I'm telling myself that's not what I'm going to do. And even when I posted the video yesterday, I was posting it because I was saging and doing Pali Santo and I was like, let's spread positive vibes. I didn't even really notice you all would talk about my ass because I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just walking in for one second, two seconds, you know? And I feel like I've shown my ass more than I have with that. Like, if you look at our performance videos, the last performance we had in December, like, I was just so excited and on stage and just being myself. So, I don't know. I just felt it was important to address it so you guys get to kind of get to know who I am more in inside. And it's really hard for me to think of myself as a sexual being or an attractive being, quite frankly. So when I see all the uproar about my posts and stuff, I'm a bit confused. Like I really don't understand because I've never seen myself in that way or in that light. So I take it as a huge compliment that you all even think of me as a sexual, sexy being. And you know, it's never, I don't post what I post for people to, I don't post what I post for to get attention. I don't need that. I am a very spiritual person and I feel like during quarantine I got really close to God. So even in the lowest moments when I felt like people weren't seeing me, when people weren't paying attention to me, God was. And I've learned I don't need outside attention. So you all seeing what I'm posting is just me being me. And yeah, I just hope you can just see who I am and that's it so yeah someone said why am i crying i'm always such a cry you all know it's not that serious but yeah i just felt like i had to speak on it and for everyone who doesn't feel like they're beautiful enough or doesn't feel like they're except like they're the type of beauty standard it's okay you are beautiful because i felt that way i still feel that way I'm very insecure, quite frankly, but my outlet is music. So when I perform and do music, you all think I'm like, I think I'm like the baddest bitch, but no, I'm like, mm-mm. So I just want to thank you all for so much support and all of your love. And